Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm finally getting to share with you our garden tour but specifically our pergola which we built last year. Now I used to think this was called a pergola but apparently it's pronounced pergola so I will be saying pergola in this video. So this area of our garden was just grass and we have a very long garden that goes across the length of the house. So we thought it would be a nice idea to build a pergola here as this is where the sun is most of the day. We did look around for one to buy but in the end we just decided to build our own with the help of Ben's dad. We have to give all the credit to him as he did 90% of the work creating this beautiful frame and tiling it too. Then Ben painted the whole frame black and we hung the solar powered string lights around it which are from Wilco. We also have this cute sign and a beautiful wooden wind chime that we bought back from Bali last year. On the back wall of the pergola I was inspired to attach this fake ivy which I picked up from Home Bargains. I used two boxes of this and cut it to size and staple gunned it to the fence. I'll link the picture I found on Pinterest which inspired our whole pergola area in the first place down below. So our furniture we already had but we thought it looked much nicer in our new area. The two chairs and table come all together from home base and then the throw is from Primark. The candles on the table are from the range and Matalan, the big ones from Matalan. And then the outdoor mat which I absolutely love is from Audi. I bought this on a special buy, it was only £10 and the copper fire pit was a gift which I want to say was from B&Q. In the back left hand corner I've just been experimenting growing some calla lilies which are absolutely stunning to look at. Then on the other side is this palm which is from b &Q. I also have this cute little planter in the shape of a sully sausage dog which I filled with lavender. This is from Audi as well. Either side of the pergola is these palms which are from home base and the grey pots are from Wilco a couple of years ago. We also laid some grey slate down here too just to finish this area off. The big silver lanterns are from Tesco and the pillar candles are from Ikea. High five. Good boy. Paw. Another paw. Good boy. Lastly, I just wanted to give you an overview of the garden panning round from the pergola onto our grey decking. We absolutely love this part. This was just grass and a couple of tiles, but Ben's dad helped us build quite a lot of the bits in the garden, including the planter area over the other side. And we just love how it looks now with all the flowers and things like that. And Sully really enjoys playing in our garden too, because he has a nice area to run around. Finally, I just wanted to show you where I put my bird box in the end that I picked up from Home Bargains. I'm yet to see any birds, only squirrels and pigeons in it, but I like this little shaded area for it and hopefully soon some birds will come to visit also. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will now look forward to seeing you on Wednesday for a Sully related video. I know you guys have been wanting to see him more, so keep a look out for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you then guys. Have a great start to the week. Bye!